This chapter explains about the exterior of the NKV-330 ventilator. This video is not a substitute for proper training. Users of the NKV-330 ventilator should be properly trained and have read and understood the operator's manual. Specifications are subject to change by Nihon Koden at any time without notice. Some products may not be available in your country. Contact your Nihon Koden representative for details. The power switch is placed on the lower left of the 12-inch color touchscreen display, and there are three lamps above this switch. The operation lamp lights when the ventilator is operated. The AC power lamp lights when the AC power is supplied to the ventilator. The battery charging lamp shows the status of the main battery and backup battery. The operation knob, which can be turned and pressed, is placed on the lower right of the touchscreen display. The alarm indicator is placed on the top of the ventilator and lights or blinks when an alarm occurs depending on the type of alarm. It also blinks in synchronization with the pulse sync sound. The gas intake port is placed on the upper left corner and takes in ambient air through the air intake HEPA filter and dust filter that is attached to the inside of the gas port and delivers it to the blower in the ventilator. Make sure this port is not blocked while the ventilator is in operation. The low pressure oxygen input port and the high pressure oxygen input port is placed beside the gas intake port. Low pressure oxygen can be supplied to the ventilator through the low pressure oxygen input port, but make sure to set the O2 source to LPO on the O2 source window in setup on the menu window. Note that the maximum low pressure oxygen supply flow is 12 liters per minute. There are three sockets in the middle of the panel. The left socket is for a LAN connection, but this functionality is not implemented yet, and the other two sockets are for connecting external devices. The equipotential ground terminal can be used for equipotential grounding with other devices. The gas output port with a HEPA filter inside for patient circuit connection is placed on this side, and the pressure flow sensor port for pressure flow sensor tubing connection is placed above the gas output port. Two of Nihon Koden multi sockets are placed on this side for SpO2 probe and CO2 sensor connection. Once SpO2 probe or CO2 sensor or both are connected, the ventilator automatically detects the parameters and start measuring even if the ventilator is in ventilation standby. USB socket and SD card slots in the middle are used for saving data of the ventilator. The slot 1 is used for saving monitoring data and the slot 2 is used for saving the currently displayed window, numeric data and event history, and for upgrading software. The SD cards should be inserted in the SD card sockets when turning on the ventilator. The check key is used for displaying the system configuration windows and system check window. The oxygen sensor port is placed on the upper left and an oxygen sensor must be installed inside this port to measure the oxygen concentration of the gas delivered to the patient. The main battery is installed in the main battery component. To replace the main battery with a spare battery, release the lock on the rear panel and remove the battery cover. Push in the latch and slowly pull out the battery. Then insert another battery and fix it in place with the latch. The backup battery is installed in the backup battery component on the bottom panel. A cooling fan is located on the bottom panel and a fan filter is installed in front of the fan. The heated humidifier can be attached to the humidifier bracket located on the front of the cart. The support arm or the water bag pole can be attached to one of the holes located on either side of the handle of the cart. When transporting a patient, the oxygen supply can be changed from high pressure oxygen supply to low pressure oxygen supply. Before mounting the oxygen cylinder on the cart, lock the casters to ensure the cart does not move. 
Place the oxygen cylinder on the optional cylinder mount that is installed on the back of the cart. Secure the oxygen cylinder while adjusting the position of the rubber belt holes. If the clasp with the gray wire is loose, hook the clasp into the hole in the cylinder mount. The ventilator can be removed from the cart easily. To remove the ventilator from the cart, pull the release lever toward you to unlock it. Orange portion is visible when the release lever is unlocked and remove the ventilator from the cart. If the optional rail hook is attached to the rear panel of the ventilator, the ventilator can be hung on the bed rail during patient transport. When mounting the ventilator on the cart, make sure to lock the casters so that the cart does not move. Check that the release lever of the cart is in front of you and pull the release lever toward you to unlock it. Place the ventilator on the top assembly of the cart. Check that the release lever is securely locked. A click sound indicates that the lever is locked. The orange portion is hidden when the release lever is locked.